great preparation ground for Poe. And uh, three of those horses, first timers at the five star level, including uh, this gelding, Vicon Victor. But what is important to say is even if he's nine years old, the horse has to qualify to come here. You can't uh, arrive directly to the five star. So he is nine, so he's young, but he, he should do very, very good results before that in three and four star level to arrive here in five star. Yeah, on this a uh, horse, Viscount Victor, who in fact was uh, top five at that uh, in that open intermediate at Osby. Tim aboard, who won on Falco here a couple of years ago in the southwest of France, aboard uh, Falco, who was a five-star first-timer at the time. And all, we often see a number of uh, five-star first-timers here yeah. at Poe. It is the perfect place for them to come, isn't it? Yeah, because we have the end of the season. We are here to debut the horses after that all the winter to recover. And after you can go to Babington or Lexington uh, to improve the, the results you have here in Poe. And once again, you can see the difference between Roslyn and Tim compared to the first two riders. They are riders who come here for the victory and they ride the tests every step of the test they ride and it's very very good to see that and you can see very high marks like that yeah i was interested just to see those extended drop marks yeah. lovely two eights in that super picture of harmony and That's elegance as they came uh, diagonally across the arena at that extended trot and it's not only because he is the former number one in the world. It is because he rides the test. A difference on the two first rider who ride to avoid mistakes. Here, he, he rides to have the best mark as possible, yeah. even if he has mistakes. So it's different, but it's different goals too. I'm sure that the two first rider do the best of what they can do with the horse. This horse looks better than the two first horses. So you do with what you have. And probably if um, Jesse or Tom have this horse to ride, probably they, they, they take a lot of more risk as Tim do. Yeah, making the most of what you have underneath you. Yeah. yeah the horse underneath you. And that is uh, certainly the case with uh, Tim and Janelle, who have uh, been at the very top of eventing for some time now, spearheading, of course, the New Zealand team, but uh, really have had a purple patch over the last two or three years. Yeah, you can see, yeah. Every time the run back could be difficult for the eventing horses. But it was a very good trot, Marks. And the counter is very good. He is very uphill. He could take more risk in this extended uh, counter. We'll see the first flying change. But he have a very nice frame. A very nice flying change. Very uphill. And you can see what I say, yeah, it's his jump, his flying change. So he should have better marks. Yes, you can see 7.5 to 7. Well, Tim, multi five star winner, including at uh, Maryland, the Mars Maryland five star in the United States of America uh, last year. It was due to defend that title this year, but uh, fortunately that wasn't meant to be. Yeah, you can see the horse is very straight on the head of the rider, and he's listening very, very good, his rider. Yeah. It's a very pleasant test. Yeah, and just watching these two last night here in the familiarization, yeah. watching them work, it was a picture of harmony then as well. Yeah, and you can't think uh, by watching that that it's easy the dressage, but no, different. But when you get not to here, so easy. <laughs> within the whiteboard, yes. yes. Uh, perhaps you can hurt some helicopters or um, plane because. We are very close from the airport here in Po. So it could be disturber uh, a little the horses, but this horse is very confident on his rider. So yeah, it's very good. The last line change. 
here. The flying chain from the left to the right is not jump enough, but the left, uh, the right from the left was very, very good. Tim and Janelle, of course, now uh, based down at the absolutely uh, fabulous Cheddington facilities in the very south of the UK. And huge applause for Tim Price for New Zealand and Vicon Victor. Score 27.9 before we wait for the final marks to come in. No flying change marks there. And I will take the lead just in front of Roslyn. Hello. So you can say that uh, uh, Tim and Jamal are based in the UK, but you will see some US rider who are based in the US, and the horses fly from US to Po just for Po. So that's a long trip for the horses. It's the same as last week. We have Maryland, and uh, the horses from Europe fly to Maryland uh, for that. Yeah, it is very much a global sport, isn't yeah. it? And uh, the horses 